if you find yourself in a season of long suffering, the Bible says, count it all joy. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By faith into this grace in which we now stand, through whom we have gained access, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we see also glory in our suffering, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Waiting on the Lord is one of the most powerful things that you can do in the time of suffering because we ultimately want to get out of that pain. But we have to understand that God desires long suffering. The Bible clearly says that it's part of the gifts of the Spirit because in that pain, God is making you strong in your faith. He's making you strong that you will have an awesome and beautiful testimony. Even the world knows no pain, no gain, but how much more for the things of God? Psalms chapter 34, verse 17 through 18. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. See, because we're in a spiritual warfare, the devil is not playing. He is at war with your spirit. So sometimes we have to go through things so that way we can get the proper training spiritually that we need for the battle that is to come. See, we always have victory because God is on our side. God is going to direct you in the ways that he wants you to go when you are constantly praying and seeking him. See, the Bible describes different levels of faith. And if you are not constantly growing in trials, then how do you ever expect to have victory over different circumstances and situations? How will you ever be able to speak life? How will you be able to encourage other people unless you have gone through things in your, your own life? See, life is going to bring us situations and life is going to have all these different trials because that's just the world that we live in. But the beauty of it is when you walk with God, you will gain heavenly treasures, wisdom and knowledge that only can come from above because the spirit that is in you, which is the Holy Spirit. And when that spirit is in you, it is constantly teaching you, equipping you and getting you ready for eternal life. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 Do not be afraid for I am with you do not be discouraged for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will hold you up with my victorious right hand Let's end this in prayer Heavenly Father I pray for every person who's watching this God that you would touch their hearts in this moment Lord I pray that you would give them the strength to keep moving on. I pray, Lord, that your spirit would fall upon them right now, Lord, and they would believe in you even more, Lord, that they know that this message was appointed from them because, Lord, these are your words coming out of my mouth. Father, I pray that they would be able, Lord, to have breakthrough in their life, Lord, that you would give them something, God, that they would never expect and there would be no other explanation than it was from you. Lord, I pray joy in their heart right now. Lord, I pray victory in their heart right now. Lord, I pray that they would be able to get through the day and keep seeking you all the days of their life. And Lord, I pray that you would bless them, Lord. Bless them abundantly and accordingly to your will. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters, because the Lord is with us.